Hi, this tutorial is about how to send WordPress posts directly to your Twitter account. The first thing you're going to need to do, obviously, is to have a Twitter account. Next, we're going to go into our dashboard on WordPress. We're going to go into Plugins. We're going to go into Add New. And we're going to click on Twitter and search our plugins. If you scroll down, you'll see WordPress to Twitter, and that means that any time you have a WordPress blog, it'll update on your Twitter status using your URL. So let's go ahead and install this now, click OK, and click on Activate Plugin. At the top, it says that it requires authentication by OAuth, so we need to update our settings to complete the installation of WordPress to Twitter. So I'm going to click on Update Your Settings. We're going to register this site as an application on Twitter's application registration page by clicking on the link and we're going to log in with our Twitter account. It's going to take us into a page that says create application and this is going to be WordPress to Twitter. Underneath is the description. My WordPress blog posts will automatically appear on Twitter. And then it's going to ask for the website. So I'm going to put in that information and then underneath is the callback URL. I don't want the application to use the callback, so I'm going to leave this one blank. Underneath are the developer rules. Once you read through them all, you're going to click Agree, and then fill out the CAPTCHA, and click on Create Your Twitter Application. And it just came up and said I can't include Twitter in the application's name, so I'm just going to put WordPress Blog. Scroll down, and create my Twitter application. If that name is also taken, I'm going to go ahead and put in the name of my site. Scroll down again, click Create Twitter Application, and now my WordPress blog post will automatically appear on Twitter. I can also go in and use my settings. I can change my authorization tool, and here's my consumer key, my consumer secret, and my access token. So under my settings, I'm going to go in and click Read Only, put in my callback URL if I want, put in my organization's name, put in my organization's website, and click on Update this Twitter application settings. Next I'm going to go into the OAuth tool. I'm going to copy my consumer key and paste it into my Twitter consumer key box in my WordPress. And then I'm going to copy my consumer secret and paste that into my WordPress as well. Next, it's going to ask me to copy and paste my access token and access token secret into these fields. So I'm going to click. I'm going to go to my Applications Details page to get that. I'm going to scroll to the bottom where it says your access token and click on Create My Access Token. I'm going to go back into my OAuth tool, scroll down, scroll down, and copy my access token tool paste it in, and then do my access token secret and paste that in and click on connect to Twitter. And it says I'm now connected to Twitter. You can come in here and you can disconnect your accounts as well. Now down below it has our basic settings. Update when a post is published, update when a post is edited, update when a page is published, update when a page is edited, and then the settings for comments, settings for links, and it allows us to choose our short URL if you want to. And then click Save to save all of your changes. If you want to use a URL shortener account, you can go ahead and put your information in for the su.pr account details as well, and then your bit.ly details. And if you have a yourls account, you can put your details in as well. Underneath are advanced tweet options. You can choose to strip the non-alphanumeric characters from your tags, which I'm going to go ahead and click. You can put a maximum number of tags, a maximum length of characters for the included tags, the length of the post excerpts, the WordPress to Twitter date formatting, the custom text before tweets, custom field or alternative URLs, your preferred status update truncation sequence, if you have any special cases when you want WordPress to send out a tweet on its own, your Google Analytics settings, which you can actually track Twitter through your Google Analytics, if you want individual authors on the page to have their own individual Twitter accounts, and you can disable your error messages. Again, hit save. 
On the bottom, we can limit our updating categories. Let's say I only want my tutorial categories to be updated. I would click on that, and only when I have a tutorial category post will it link. Underneath, if you would like to get plugin support, you can go ahead and write to the creator of the plugin, and you can also keep in mind you need to make a donation to the developer of this plugin in order to get an answer from them, but these will be treated as bug reports if you don't, so they'll go in and try to fix the bug if it's a problem that a lot of users have. So when that's all done, we're going to scroll down, and here's all my installation data all the way to the bottom. So let's go ahead to posts, and I'm going to add a new post. Now I'm going to scroll down until I get to WP to Twitter and it's going to have a new post. This is my first tweet. So let's go ahead and tell it to tweet this post and retweet this and click tweet. And there it is. It's automatically put onto my Twitter page. So much easier than having to copy and paste your posts into Twitter. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's really going to help you personalize and get the word out there about your site. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.